A lot of people in Savannah hunkering down ahead of Irma. And many who stayed in town are happy to see that a few stores are still open. Well, Amanda Lebro is downtown and she joins us live from the Parkers on Drayton Street where people are still flowing in and out getting what they need. Employees say that they have seen a steady stream of people here at the store since it opened at 7 this morning. They say they've had so many people they couldn't even give me an estimated number of how many that they've seen today. Lots of people were in line this evening buying food and drinks. Several people we spoke to said they were happy to finally have hot food available somewhere instead of just cold sandwiches or things at home. One family says after searching for open stores over the last couple of days, having this Parker's open on Drayton Street is a blessing. Yesterday we went all the way out to the island thinking maybe someone had told us, one of our friends, that the Publix was open and it was closed. It was just like, really? <laughs> and then we come down here, it's like a couple of blocks from the house, and we're like, we should have just tried here first. <laughs> Staff says they're going to try to be open again tomorrow morning starting at 7, weather permitting. Live in Savannah, Amanda LeBro, WTOC News. Most stores have been closing around the coastal empire. Tasia Reed has been out uh, checking out the roads this morning, seeing what actually is open today. Tasia, have you had any luck? Well, we found one gas station. We're here at the Parkers in Garden City. You can see there's someone here actually filling up the gas here with his truck. And the, ga the Parkers here is open now. I have seen people go inside, but a lot of the gas stations we passed earlier were completely closed. We drove from downtown. We went to the south side, and now we're here in Garden City. Now, we did run into the Waffle House here in Garden City. Now, they said they were supposed to be opening at 7, but because of some technical difficulties, they are not open. We ran into a Waffle House on on Abercorn Street, they were open. But keep in mind, it is early on a Sunday morning, so a lot of things would already be closed anyways. But definitely, a lot of places are still closed. So only people that I see on the road, starting to see some more people on the roads than we did earlier. Still a lot of cops on the road. But right now, it's just people coming into Parker's, getting some things that they need and getting gas and heading back home because most places are closed at this time. We're going to keep checking and bringing you guys updates throughout the morning. Reporting live in Garden City, Tasha Reed, WTOC News. Well, now that people are starting to head back home after evacuating from Hurricane Irma, we are seeing a lot of traffic in our area, especially if you're heading I-95 south. A lot of plates that say Florida on it as people are heading back after the storm. Now, as a result, we could get exposed we could experience a shortage in gas while people are traveling through the state of Georgia and South Carolina. Right now, Parker's gas station is hoping that they're going to be able to handle the heavy flow of traffic. We know it's going to take a lot. We know it's going to take a lot of product and a lot of fuel and a lot of work in the stores to keep everybody satisfied. But we're going to do everything we can to take care of them.